well, well, well. Thought you'd just help yourself to a man's personal belongings, huh? You scheming little thief. The gods demand repentance. Cough up your coins. All of it. Wait, wait, please. I surrender. White flag and all. Come round, have you? <laughs> I knew you would. You're a lady of reason, through and through. <laughs> ah, well, what do you know? You're tarnished, like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi human or some such. <laughs> An innocent mistake, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? A true lady of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the Untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. Now oh, they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> don't forget to pop back for another visit, friend. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. Well, nice of you to drop in, finally. It's all a bit ad hoc. But I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium, where you won't need a refund, because everything's top notch. Yeah, I had those bandits make a clean break. Now they're all suppliers, no good ones at that. I mean, they don't understand a word I'm saying, but it hardly matters. We have a natural connection. <laughs> they're all foot soldiers. Survivors of a defeated army, worked to the bone by their high and mighty lord, only to be thrown out with the rubbish. <sighs> it's the same old story everywhere I go. <sighs> to hell with it all. Hmm. Wondering what's inside the treasure chest. Well, it's a... Uh, nothing too special. Just something I'm saving. As thanks for a very valuable customer. But then again, it would fetch some spectacular coin. And besides, this valuable customer could be a long time coming. Huh? Everything is give and take. Give and take. Cheers for that! Well, well, well. I should have known, you skinny little thief. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! scared, puffing away in a flash like that. Well, maybe it's a sign to keep your mitts off what's not rightly yours, hmm? But I'll forgive you. View it as a learning experience. At any rate, it's just nice to see you safe. Well, don't miss all the bargains here at Patches Emporium. <laughs> Cheers for that!
well. It, it's been a long while. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well, uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? Fancy meeting you here. Hold on. Don't you say a word, my friend. I spoke no lie, not a one. You are trapped inside a volcano, no mistake. But the Erd Tree was right outside. You just had to spring yourself out. Well, I'm willing to admit, I could have been more clear. But I did not lie, and you're perfectly unscathed. All's well that ends well. Right? Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh?
Um, hello. Yes. Strange place for a chance encounter, huh? <laughs> well, I thought I could use a rest. Don't mind me. Go about your business. R right, over there. See that? Something shimmering. I swear. Then stay away from the Volcano Manor! <laughs> Again. Oh, so sorry for that. I, I meant to warn you, but whoops, <laughs> there you went. Despite my best intentions, I've done you wrong. I have. But here you are, standing tall and proud. All's well that ends well, eh? And my warning was spot on. You tell me different. Stay clear of Volcano Manor. End of discussion. I heard the brutes there hunt tarnished like animals. Stay clear of I heard the boom. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task, the volcano. You will be compensated once the deed is done. If you are loath to hunt your own... But you must leave this house. This is a war. We have no place for them. You've completed your task. I am pleased. This is your... Never... The way is... It is the truth. Now you... I am pleased. Join the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Hatches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. 
Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, for she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Stingy little beggar. Try to find... timing. This is for you. You're new here at the manor, but if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> Try to find it. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest by all means. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. There you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? You... It's true, then. You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. 
and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path and do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. Now you've gone and killed Rykard. <laughs> you scheming little doxy. Cripes, you make this nonsense seem, well, <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a Tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am. Untethered once again. Goodbye, my friend. Bit of a slip up, that's all. I should have stuck to what I know best. No matter. I know I, I can trust you. Gullible, yes, but uh, a good soul. Make certain that Tanith gets this. Oh, it's it's nothing, it's just makes me sick to see her all bent out of shape. Oh, Tanith, back on your high horse where you belong. You're able then? Then I can rest easy, my friend. Uh. 
What is it? I have no need of that. I must continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, you... Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is vast, and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please, find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. <laughs>